we're going to do 6.3.20 and now I already worked this problem out and I couldn't get the exact same values I started with so in my original problem I worked out this was 1750 so computers purchase for $1,750 it loses 11% of its value every year and they already tell us what the function could look like right here and what we're going to do is figure out A and B and then uh, answer this in how many years will the computer be worth half its original value all right so I just started by writing what they told me to write and we also know the initial value at so at zero time my computer was worth 1750 you could hand compute the first year and in the first year you're going to lose 11 percent oh okay you'll lose 11 percent uh, of the value meaning you will retain 89 percent of the original value so all i did was i just computed by hand right here after one year we will have uh, 1750 times 0.89 that would be the value uh, if you have a calculator you could type this in it'll be 89 percent of that number you can definitely do it in the second year you'll take the value you get here after one year and multiply it by another 0.89 which you could have written this is v1 right here times 0.89 uh, right here and then of course that's 0.89 squared and if you notice this pattern you could pretty easily figure out v3 will be the 0.89 times 0.89 times 0.89 or 0.89 cubed right there and just from this pattern that means our b our base is that 0.89 and our initial value, just looking at what this, uh, this form looks like, this initial value is right here, and that will be A. All right, so that'll get you A and B, the uh, initial value, and then the, uh, that would be the retained value uh, each year. And we want to know half. We want it to lose half the value. Well, we don't want our computer to lose half its value, but it will lose half its value, and we want to know how long that will take. So what I did is I set up b of t equals half of the original value. And we want to then solve for t. So here's our v of t function on the right side. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is divide by 1750. It'll cancel out both of those and leave us with a half on the left. All right, so how do we solve for t here? Well, we got to move the base to the other side, so we need that definition of a log again. I'm going to scroll back up to the definition of a log, super important right here we're going to use this and we're starting on this side starting on the right side and we're going to go to the left side so we're going to move the base over to the other side as a log so get ready for this we're moving the base over to the other side as a log so this is log base 0.89 of one half and if we're doing decimals we might as well write the decimal for that equals now this base disappears equals t so that right there will be your t value uh, most calculators are not going to accept this right here there's a few ways to deal with this you could do a change of base log of 0.5 divided by log of 0.89 if you don't write a base it's assumed it's base 10 you could also use the natural log the natural base you'll get the exact same value right there and either of those will equal t and i believe both of those will be accepted uh, using your my open math uh, answer unless i said round i didn't read that carefully round answer to one decimal place all right so do that